Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of equivalent fractions, decimals, and percents. This is standard 6.4G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 7 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Carlos walked to school, and the only numbers we're going to get here are 14 of the 20 school days in February, and then which value is equivalent to the fraction. So we need to turn this into a fraction of school days, and you notice that we've got two percents and two decimals, so we don't even know what we need to transfer this into. So first, let's make 14 twentieths into a decimal, so 14 out of 20. Well, we can just kind of flip that vertically and turn that into our fraction. So this is going to be our fraction. And we have got our numerator on top, denominator on bottom. So let's first go from a fraction to a decimal. Fraction to a decimal is the easiest thing to do. From the decimal, going to percent is a cinch. There's two ways to turn your fraction into a decimal. Let me start with the harder way that always works. Then I'll start with the easier way that sometimes works. So 20 goes into 14. So when you need to change a fraction into a decimal, one step that will always work no matter what is to divide up. It just gets a little bit difficult if you don't have a calculator if it turns into a pretty big decimal. So 20 does not go into 14, so we're going to put a 0 right there. But that gets us our decimal in the quotient and in our dividend. And we are going to bring a 0 down, because you can always put zeros after a decimal, and it looks pretty simple there. 2 goes into 14 7 times, so 20 goes into 140 7 times. And that's knowing how to multiply by multiples of 10, 100, or 1,000. So we've got 140, so it looks like it is going to be 0 0.7. So I'm just going to kind of keep track over here. 14 twentieths equals 0 0.7. Now, I've got something that's very, very tricky. Look at this. I've got 0 0.7, and I've got 0 0.07. 7 tenths, 7 hundredths. Is there a difference? There is a huge difference. Think of this as 70 cents, and think of this as 7 cents. That decimal makes a huge difference. So that is not going to be our answer, even though it includes the number 7. Now, how could we have done that a little bit easier? Well, sometimes, but not always, you can change your fraction into an equivalent fraction that has a denominator of 10, 100, or 1,000. And we want these three denominators, 10, 100, or 1,000, because those are the first three decimal places after the decimal, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. And I could do this two different ways. The easiest way would be to take that and divide it by 2. The reason I'm going to divide by 2, and whatever you divide by on bottom, you have to divide by on top, because make sure that's equal to 1, because 20 divided by 2 equals 10. And remember, I'm trying to get into a denominator of 10, 100, or 1,000. So 20 divided by 2 is 10. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So look, that's going to equal 7 tenths. 7 tenths, 7 tenths. So that's just two different ways to write the exact same number or value. Another way I could have done this is I could have multiplied. I could have said, well, I'm not sure about dividing, but I know I can multiply by 5. It is going to make it kind of big, but guess what you're going to get? You're going to get 70 over 100. And 70 over 100 is equivalent to 7 tenths. just has an extra zero on top and bottom. Well, that's not helping me. This decimal is going to have to be wrong. And look, it just takes the 14 and the 2, just slaps them together like that works. So it has to be a percent. How do I change this to a percent? Well, I've got my 0 0.7. So let's move this down here. This equals 0 0.7 or 7 tenths. From a percent to a decimal is 2 times to the right. So we're going to take our decimal. We're going to move it over once. We're going to move it over twice. We're going to drop the 0 up front. We're going to put a 0 in that blank spot, and guess what that equals? 70%. So A is our answer. 56 is not correct. And so we are going to go with A, 70%.